Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, let me explain you about some of the important types of prompting that you can use to make your prompts much better and get the desired results. This is very important technique in the generative AI space. So make sure you learn these core components very thoroughly. Now, some of the very important ones are uh, the ones that I'll be covering. There are many more types, but then uh, these are the ones that you need to understand from the application point of view and from some of the exam point of view, because I'm coming up with the ISTQB AI tester certification course as well, wherein you'll need these concepts as well. So the first one that we are going to understand is zero shot prompting. Now, when we say zero shot prompting, this is the direct instruction with no examples at all. This is great for uh, testing the general capability of the large language model or whatever model you are using. So that's where if you don't provide an example, that's known as zero, uh, zero shot prompting. Now, one shot prompting is wherein you provide one example in your prompt. And we have already covered one very good prompt that we have written with all the core components that need to be in, that need to be there in the prompt, which had one example. So in one shot example, if you have provided one example, that is one shot prompting. And we will cover each of these zero shot, one shot, few shot in much more detail in upcoming tutorials. Now few shot prompting wherein multiple examples, you are giving multiple examples to LLM to show the pattern or your LLM will be able to learn the pattern, how your example is and provide you the answers accordingly. Then you have the chain of thought prompting, wherein you encourage the model to reason step by step. You provide certain in important step of reasoning before LLM goes ahead and provides you the answer. So chain of thought is more about encouraging the model to reason step by step before answering and this is useful for complex tasks especially in the testing space we'll come up with the example and show you chain of thought prompting very thoroughly now compound prompting is wherein you are combining multiple prompt types for layered reasoning or multi multi-step tasks so the, the prompt that we wrote which has all those core capabilities in the previous tutorial is actually a compound prompting because we have had everything mostly you know role context example so when you include all of those core components that is your compound prompting so these are some of the important types of prompt that we are going to understand in the upcoming tutorial one by one with examples we'll understand so that you can use them practically in your projects and become good at prompting so that's all see you in the next one thank you